decade, they've invaded your homes. Their little bodies dispensing frightful tales and invoking fear in the hearts of men. Every sunrise and every sunset, they appear again and again, ready to wreak more havoc. Rugrats movie. About time someone make me into a movie star. A motion picture for anyone who ever wore diapers. <laughs> we are looking for blue We are looking for blue screws. We are looking for blue screws. Cause that's a really fun game. Blue's Clues, Nick Jr.'s play-along show that will change the way preschoolers watch videos. Celebrate Blue's birthday in a brand new video. Blue's birthday features never-before-seen footage where your preschooler can help prepare for the big party. Plus, look for Blue in arts and crafts and story time. Play to learn with Nick Jr. from Nickelodeon. One more time! Nick, 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 Nick Jr. Nick, 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 Nick Jr. Nick, 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 Nick Jr. that look even better. Paramount means family entertainment. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. and shine right here on Nick Jr. <laughs>
Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bed bugs. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a saying. bugs in my bed. Oh, little bear. Bed bugs everywhere. Oh, I see. I think Father Bear swallowed a bed bug. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't escape those bed bugs. Hmm? Huh? Bugs? <laughs> Whoa! Where? What, what bugs? Bed bugs in the bed, Father Bear. Don't let them bite. Where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> there! There's one! <laughs> There's another one! Here's one! Oh! Hey, I'm not a bed bug. <laughs> you look like a bed bug to me. Grrr. Oh! <laughs> oh! I am a bed bug. <laughs> bed bug bites feel more like tickles. Because we only have little teeth. Grrr. <laughs> Wait. Listen. Did you hear that? What? Some bed bugs are very sneaky. They sneak up on you and <laughs> <laughs> now I'm the bed bug. <laughs> Comes another bed bug. Sneaky bed bugs. <laughs> hey. Bed bugs like to have pillow fights. That's true. Father Bear overboard! Whoa! Bed bug overboard! Whoa! Oh! Gotcha! All right. Are you two bed bugs getting tired yet? <sighs> yes. I think so. Oh, me too. <sighs> wow. Hmm. Are any bed bugs still hiding in the pillows? All gone. Get 
care of this blanket a good shake, just in case. Yes, bed bugs like to hold on tight. <laughs> no more bed bugs. <sighs> Good night, Father Bear. <sighs> oh, good night. Good night, Mother Bear. Oh, good night. Now we're as snug as three bugs in a rug. Bugs in a rug? What kind of bugs? <laughs> it's just a saying, little bear. Oh. Bear, that's the biggest moon I've ever seen. Yes, it's a beautiful sight, little bear. I wish I could take it back and show it to Mother Bear. I know a story about a little bear who wanted to do the very same thing. You do? Mm-hmm. This little bear was away from his mother bear and missed her very much. Oh, he must have been a little, little bear. Well, maybe. <sighs> you see, he missed his mother bear so much that he wanted to take the moon back to her as a present. But you can't do that. The moon is too far away. Well, this little bear knew that. But he thought if he could scoop up the moon's reflection out of the water, he could carry it home to his mother bear in a bucket. Hello, moon. I'm going to take you home and show you to Mother Bear. Back and forth he went, spoonful after spoonful, night after night. But it's not the real moon in the water. Listen to your Uncle Rusty. Oh, this little bear knew that, because his friends had told him. I know who his friends are. You do? Owl, hen, duck, and cat. Yes, I believe you're right. Ooh. Little bear, what are you doing? I'm putting the moon in this bucket. Why? Is it going to fit? I'm going to give it to Mother Bear as a present. Oh, you can't do that. Yes, I can. Hmm. The little bear was determined. He kept spooning one spoonful after another. I think the moon is shrinking. I still don't see any moon in the bucket. And neither do I. It can't be done. Was the moon really getting smaller? Oh, yes. Night after night, the little bear was making progress. Look, the moon is half gone. Oh, the bucket is half full. So the moon was in the bucket. Well, the little bear hoped so. 
because one night the bucket was full and the moon was gone. The moon is gone. You did it, little bear. Well, I don't see it, but I know it's in there. So little bear carried the full bucket back to mother bear. And did he give her his present? Well, yes and no. What have you got there, little bear? I brought you a present, Mother Bear. Oh, what is it? It's the moon. Oh. I know it's in there. I spoon some of it out of the lake every night. Well then, I'm sure it is in there. Thank you, little bear. Little bear picked up the bucket and put it in the corner of his room. Hello, Moon. I know you're in there. Why don't you come out? He waited and waited, but night after night the moon stayed hidden. There was no moon in the bucket and no moon in the sky. The poor little bear. I don't think the story's over yet. No, not at all. You see, that's when the little bear's friends came to see him. Hello, everyone. Hello, little bear. We want to talk to you. It's too dark out. I know. Very dark. Yes, I can see that. And we were wondering when you're going to put the moon back. Maybe the moon doesn't belong in a bucket. You're right. Oh. Hello, everybody. Mother Bear, I have to put the moon back in the sky. Good idea. It was a dark night. The clouds filled the sky as the little bear carried the bucket back to the lake. His mother bear and all his friends were with him. He waded into the lake, lifted the bucket, and threw the water into the lake. Everybody can see it. It's a lovely moon. Look, Mother Bear, isn't that the biggest moon you've ever seen? Ah, oh, it certainly is, Little Bear. It's a beautiful sight. And so the moon was back in the water and back in the sky. So he did it, Uncle Rusty. He did give the moon to his Mother Bear. And now... Whenever his mother bear looks up at the night sky and sees the moon, she knows her little bear can see the moon too. Thank you for the story, Uncle Rusty. Good night, Father Bear. Good night, little bear. Good night, Mother Bear. Can Father Bear see the sunset at sea? Yes, the very same one. And in the morning, because fishermen get up so early to fish, he can see the sunrise too. Can I see the sunrise just like Father Bear? You'll have to get up very, very early. Unless I stay up all night. I'm afraid you're too little to do that. I'm not too little. Little bears need their sleep. 
Good night, son. See you in the morning. And then the bear ate all the honey and went to sleep with a very full belly. That's a good story. Yes, it is. Let's read it again. We've already read it twice. Now it's time for you to go to sleep. Good night. Mother Bear! What is it? How long before the sun comes up? Not until the moon goes down. Good night, little bear. Sweet dreams. you back. Good night, little bear. Mother bear! Mother bear! Oh, what is it, little bear? It's too hot. There. Now I'll see you at breakfast. What's for breakfast? We can have oatmeal and juice. What kind of juice? Little bear, go to sleep. Staying up all night. Oh, me too. I hardly ever sleep at night. You must be up when the sun rises. Actually, I prefer the middle of the night. Why? It's nice and dark, and no one can see me. Don't you get scared? Sure, sometimes. The night can be very scary. But I like that. Want to come? I better not. See you in the morning, then. I've still got dinner waiting. Somewhere. <laughs> I wonder where Father Bear is now. It must be very dark on the ocean at night. There must be a lot of waves. And the water must be very cold. Whoa! Mother Bear! What's wrong? I need a lifesaver. A lifesaver? I was pretending I was on a boat, like Father Bear. And the waves were really big. Now this time, I want you to go to sleep. I mean it, little bear. <sighs> oh, mother bear. I must have been sleepwalking. Hmm. You've never done that before. I can't get to sleep. Why not? Because I want to stay up and see Father Bear's sunrise. 
You're sure you want to stay up all night? Okay, then. Let's go wait for Father Bear's sunrise. Mother Bear, where does Father Bear sleep at night? Father Bear sleeps in a warm cabin on the ship. He has a red and blue checked quilt on his bed, and on the nightstand, next to his pillow, is a picture of you. That's a good place to sleep. A very good place. Does he have a glass of water at night, just like me? Of course he does. Does he get a bedtime story? Well, every night before he goes to sleep, he reads the letters I write to him. And do you write him things about me? All about you. Good morning, sleepyhead. Morning. I'm sorry you missed the sunrise, my little bear. But I did see the sunrise. You did? Of course. Didn't I say I would? Was it very beautiful? Yes, it was. Father Bear saw it too. He waved to me. Then you are a lucky little bear. Yes, I am. Mother Bear be home. Oh, I'm sure she's on her way home now. Perhaps you should be getting ready for bed. Mother Bear didn't kiss me good night. Yes, she did. I saw her. That was a kiss goodbye, not good night. I'm always ready for bed after my good night kiss. All right then. Why don't I read you a story while we wait for Mother Bear to return? Would you like that? <laughs> <laughs> What would you like me to read tonight? The Night of the Full Moon. This one again? I like monster stories. So do I. Can we read the book outside? Why? If there are any monsters outside, they can hear this story too. Good idea. It's getting dark. There isn't much light for reading books. Hello, Fireflies. Can you help us with our storybook? Don't worry. I'll let you out as soon as Father Bear is finished reading. Father Bear, do you think the monsters are out? They must still be sleeping. They only come out when there's a full moon. Oh, yes. That's right. Now, let's see. Two little... Monsters! <laughs> Two little monsters on the moon dance while a comet whistles a tune. One goes up and then goes down. The other moon monster goes round and round. One moon monster jumps over tall trees. The other one crawls on his hands and knees. One scares himself... And bumps his head. The other one says... You should go to bed. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, guess what we have tonight? A full moon. It's beautiful. It's almost like daytime. It is indeed. Grr, grr, the full moon is out. You know what that means. What? It's time for the moon monsters to go out and play. Should we hide from them? No, we are them. Grrr. Come on, Father Moon Monster. Where are we going, little moon monster? Two little monsters on the moon. Dance, Dance while, while a comet, comet whistles, whistles a tune. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> One monster goes up. A father moon monster and a little moon monster together make a very big moon monster. Grr, grr. <laughs> Wee! One monster then goes down. down. One monster goes over and then around. Are you the little monster that likes to crawl on his hands and knees? Yep. Moon monster. Oops. One little monster bumps his head. One monster scares himself, then bumps his head. Two little monsters on the moon dance while a comet whistles a tune. <laughs> little monster, I forgot a line from the book. Little moon monster gets very sleepy. Father Bear, that's not in the book. It's not? No. <sighs> Company, little moon monster. Moon monsters don't sleep when there's a full moon. Uh, Not even when they're sleepy? Sleepy monsters can't go to sleep without a good night kiss. Hmm. So what you monsters really want is another kiss from the mother monster. Grrr. Yes, that's right. But you'll have to catch me first. <laughs> well then, here comes mother monster. <laughs> Will a good night kiss change the little monster back into my little bear? Uh-huh. Why, it is my little bear. Now father monster too. <laughs> Welcome back, Father Bear. Now it's time for bed. Yes, all the monsters are sleeping now. Good night, my little bear. Hi there, face here. Now it's time to say goodbye. So let's say a really long goodbye together. Ready? Goodbye! <laughs> and I'll see you right here on Nick Jr. <laughs>